Microsoft Word has traditionally been seen as a text-based tool for creating documents, but you can add media such as pictures, shapes, and icons to enhance the look of your documents, making it more visually appealing and engaging. However, for many people, it isn't intuitive how to position these inserted objects alongside the text by applying the different inline and wrapping styles. In this video, I'll walk you through each of the different options so that you can position your objects exactly where you want them in the document. Here I have a document about birds. When you go to the Insert tab, there are actually quite a few different objects we can add. Let's start with icons. I'm going to search for a bird icon and choose this one here. Hit Insert. By default, the icon has been inserted in line at the front of the paragraph. It's treated just like another piece of text, so if I were to move this object and drop it after the word birds, and I add a sentence at the front of the paragraph, it'll shift over along with the rest of the text. This option is generally not useful, at least for me, especially when you have a larger object like this one, because when it gets pushed down the paragraph, it'll create a big gap in the line space. I found that the inline option works best when the object is small enough to match the size of the text. This way, even as the icon moves along the text down to the next line, it doesn't create a big gap in the paragraph. So more often, I tend to use one of the text wrap options. When you click on the inserted object, you see a small icon here appear for layout options. Let's choose this first option for square. As the name suggests, the text in the paragraph will wrap around the image, keeping a clean square space around it. You can then position this image anywhere in the paragraph. And when you get to either the left or the right edge, you'll see a guideline appear to show you where the printable margin is. And when you choose the tight option, the text wrap no longer protects the square boundary of the object. You notice that the text wraps closer to the actual object. But this will only work if the object contains transparency in the background. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to upload an image from my computer. I go to Insert, Pictures from this device, navigate to the picture that I want to add, and click on Insert. And I'll make it a little bit smaller. There. I'll click on the layout option and choose tight. Now you'll notice as I move the image around the paragraph, it still looks like the text is wrapped in a square. There's all this negative space in between. And as a matter of fact, let's actually choose the square option to see if there's any difference. It does look like the tight option is hugging the image a little tightly, but there is really no noticeable difference. That's because this image is a JPEG and the white space, the space here, is actually part of the image. In order for the tight wrap option to work, we need to remove the image background. So I'm here on a website called remove.bg and I have an option here to upload image. I'm gonna click on it, choose the image, hit open. And just like that, it removed the background, which is kind of amazing considering this is a free tool. I'm gonna hit download. Now back in the main document, I'll go to insert pictures from this device. I'll go to my download folder. Choose the downloaded file, hit insert. Now if I were to go to the layout option and choose tight, as I move around the paragraph, you can see that the text is actually wrapping tightly around the image now. And if you were to compare this to the square option now, you can see the clear difference. As for the other options though, uh, we see this option for through. This is meant to wrap the text even closer to the object, but in most of the objects that I tried, I couldn't see a meaningful difference between this and the tight option. Next we have this top and bottom option. Let me scale this image down so that you can actually see the effect a little better. So this allows for the text to be wrapped around the top and the bottom of the object only, nothing to the sides. Then we have this option for behind. 
So the image is now sitting behind the text. So this is a good option if you want a watermark or a background image. And perhaps what you can do here is go to the picture format and reduce the transparency. Let me bring that back. And then the last option that we have is for in front of text. So this is literally just sitting in front of text and you can place it anywhere. And there are more options you can explore in the Arrange section of the Picture Format tab. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye.